Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, our task is to find the value of x that satisfies this exponential equation. And to do this, we are going to begin by taking log of both sides of the equation. When we do that, we have that log x to the power 1 over 1 plus log x is equal to log 10 to the power 3. Now, the next thing we are going to do is to apply the power rule of logarithms. That is the rule that says that we can bring down this exponent, that is 1 over 1 plus log x, to the front to become a multiplier. When we do that, we have 1 over 1 plus log x multiplied by log x is equal to... Now, look at this right-hand side. And remember that when we have log to base a of a to the power b, that this is simply equal to b. And of course, you know that when we write logarithms without specifying the base, it means we are working in base 10. That is common logarithm. So this is basically log to base 10 of 10 to the power 3. And of course, it's going to be equal to 3. Now here we have log x and here we also have log x for simplicity let log x be equal to u with this substitution this equation now becomes u over 1 plus u is equal to 3 and of course we can cross multiply when we cross multiply we have that u times 1, which is u, is equal to 3 times 1 plus u, which is equal to 3 plus 3 u. Now, from here, bringing the constant term 3 over to the left-hand side and taking u over to the right-hand side, we have minus 3 is equal to 3u minus u. We have minus 3 is equal to 3u minus u is 2u. And of course, dividing both sides of this equation by 2, we have that u is equal to minus 3 over 2. Now that we have calculated u to be equal to minus 3 over 2, let us remember that u is equal to log x. So ultimately, we have that log x is equal to minus 3 over 2. Once more, remember that the base of this logarithm is 10. That is this. And when we have a statement like this, it simply means that 10 to the power this is equal to x. That is, x is equal to 10 to the power minus 3 over 2. You can leave your answer in this form or you can simplify this. Of course, because of the negative, we have that this is equal to 1 over 10 to the power 3 over 2. And of course, this simply means 1 over the square root of 10 cubed. That is... And this is equal to 1 over 10 root 10. You can leave your answer in this form, or in this form, or in this form, or even in this form. Now that we've gotten the value of x that apparently satisfies this equation, let us check whether it really satisfies the equation. So we have that x is equal to... 10 to the power minus 3 over 2. And of course, this is raised to power 1 over 1 plus log 10 to the power minus 3 over 2. Once more, remember that this is log to base 10 of 10 to the power minus 3 over 2. So this is going to be equal to 10 to the power minus 3 over 2 to the power 1 over 1 
this is going to be minus 3 over 2. So here we have minus 3 over 2. Of course, let us simplify this exponent. We have 1 over 1 minus 3 over 2. This is equal to 1 over 2 times 1 is 2. 2 minus 3 is minus 1. So this is minus 1 over 2. And of course, when you have this, it simply means the reciprocal of this fraction. And this is equal to minus 2 over 1. So we have that this exponent, this whole exponent, is simply equal to minus 2 over 1. So here we have 10 to the power minus 3 over 2 to the power minus 2 over 1. 2 is going to cancel to minus minus is plus. So this is going to be equal to 10 to the power 3. And that is correct. And with that, we come to the end of today's exercise. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a like to support the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.